Irish Mathematics, and this is just a quick video on how to like get started with Khan Academy using SAT prep. So I'm starting at, you already have an account. If you need to know how to make an account, you can just go over and uh, just you know have it sign in. And if you're already signed into a Google account, if you're on Chrome, then you can just do it that way. Um, if not, then you just create a, create a new login and that kind of thing. So this won't include how to create an account, only how to get started with SAT. So all you have to do is you can either search it or you can go to courses. And it might be on the second column for you depending on the size of the screen and things like that. But on mine, it is in the third column here, test prep, SAT. All right, and then it says, where will you be taking it? So at the time of this video, it is uh, January 24th, 2023. They're rolling out um, the, the online version, but that's why they're asking this question. So, I mean, you know, obviously if you're in the US, Puerto Rico or the US Virgin Islands, then they haven't rolled it out yet. As of 2023, they are starting to roll it out. I don't know exactly when I have been keeping up with when they're rolling it out outside of the U.S. since I'm not outside the U.S. But if you are outside the U.S. watching this, then uh, you can probably just find it on their website, College Board. Go to the College Board website and you can probably find it there. But I am in the U.S. So I'm going to click on U.S. Continue. Okay. And then it says, let's go. Let's go. So we click on it. And... Have you already taken SAT, PSAT, NMSQT, say that really fast, I dare you, or PSAT 10? So if you have, the reason why they're asking this question is because if you have taken something like this, then you're already in College Board's system, so to speak. Uh, so you already have uh, an account created for you and that sort of thing. And so then you would click on this option because it would have you log in and that way, it'll automatically tell you what skills you're good at in the math sections and on the reading sections, which is pretty helpful. I'm gonna click no, and I'm also gonna show you um, what happens if you're having trouble logging in. Let's say you have logged in, but you're having trouble logging in, then you can also click no as well. Or if you click yes and they have you log in, you can't log in, you can always do this other option as well. I'm gonna show you what that is in a second. All right, so on to question two. If you don't already have a College Board account, now is a great time to sign in and create one. Okay, so you can create one, you don't have to. I'm not going to include creating all that right now. If you have one, you have one. You can log in. You can create one. I'm not going to show like account creation kind of stuff in this video. Just starting out and what the options mean if you're a little confused on why they're asking these questions. I'll just sign in later and click onward. So onward. Get some confetti coming down from the ceiling. Yay! And now we got this big old thing here with all these different things going on. So practice schedule. This is at the very top right now, but if you ever wanted to change it, it's going to be right here as well. So literally it's the same exact button. It'll take me to the same exact place. So it'll all be right here. And if you've already created a practice schedule, then it'll have a button to edit somewhere over here. And notice the little thing here. You can kind of see it's like a half circle with four little slices on the math and on the reading writing. That's just because, you know, you you haven't done anything yet there. If you haven't signed in yet, if you have signed in, then this stuff will already be filled in a little bit for you. If you haven't signed in, it'll be completely blank like it is on mine. And then there's this option right here. So if you do create a College Board account later and you want to sign into it, that option's right here. Okay. Test scores, view full tests. You can take a full test anytime you want, which is pretty cool. They time it for you and everything. It'll be akin to the online version that they're trying to roll out. It won't be exactly like it, but... The, they are rolling out online uh, in America next year, 2024, um, according to their website <laughs> as of right now. So uh, planning for college, some other resources. The main things are the practice schedule, uh, signing in eventually because it will update your skill levels for you so that they're accurate. You can also hit practice. Go straight over to the practice. Here's math, reading, writing, or essay. And here's your diagnostics. You can take four diagnostic tests Two of them are no calculator, two of them are calculator okay. And that's just gonna show you, you know, the quizzes and how to do them and stuff. I'm gonna create another series of videos on how to do each of the problems in the quizzes. Now, I mean, don't use that to like cheat on the quizzes and get perfect scores. The whole point of taking them is so that you know where you're at, so you know how much progress you need to have. You're gonna be really frustrated if you cheat on the quizzes and get perfect scores. Cause then when you go to actually practice, they start you at level three, not level four. 
they don't start you out at the highest level. They start you at level three. So you take it at level three, and if you don't know how to do it, because you got the answers from somewhere else, like a, a video that I'm going to make in the future, then you'll get stuck on level three problems, and it'll level you down to two, and then that's frustrating to get leveled down. So don't do that. Just take the diagnostic. But if you want more information on how to do the diagnostics, uh, like how to how to answer the questions after you're done and the answer explanations that Khan Academy gives you are not good enough, then you can uh, check out those videos that I'll put out at a later time. But let's go ahead and click on this. This is the last thing I'm going to do in this video. All right. So this info has been helpful. You know, do all the things like subscribe. And I have uh, other content, awesome content on my website, Myers Mathematics. Go check that out as well. Um, link in the description below. So test date. Just whenever the test date is. Your test date should show up here. If not, you can just click on one of these, I guess. But it should show up. Keyword should. So I'm going to click on the 11th, because why not? Email practice reminders. All right, so that's an email that I just kind of created. My, my name and my wife's name. Uh, just for, a, for an account to use to demo this for you. Because all of my accounts already have all this stuff set up. <laughs> So it's going to recommend some practices. They always recommend them for Saturdays at 8 a.m. since that's the common time that people take these things. But you can change them to whatever time you want. I think taking them in the morning is smart because it's like, okay, like you need to be aware of what your morning brain is like. <laughs> um, but changing the day, I don't think the day really matters that much. Like if you want to take it at 8 a.m. on a Monday, you have like a day off from school or something, you want to take it on 8 a.m. on a Monday or something, like go for it. Um, so if you want to change that day, you can, and uh, I'm just going to leave it alone for right now, but you can change it, and it'll send you an email reminder to the email that you told it to send you one before. Then you can change your practice schedule. So Monday through Friday is pretty good. If you're a student, then, you know, Monday through Friday, it's like, okay, like every day I have school, I'm also going to do SAT prep. Um, and then save Saturdays for the actual uh, taking of, the, uh, of the, the practice tests or whatever. If you change the days of these, then it could be helpful to click on a Saturday. If not, then you could just keep the five. The five's pretty good. Here's some other options at work. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right? So every other day, kind of. Um, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, not as good. It's another three-day schedule, but the problem here is that it defaults to giving you those practice tests on Saturday, so you'd have like double the amount of work on Saturday. So as long as you're fine with that, then uh, go for it. Here's another three-day schedule that I think is a really good one. Um, you can also cut it to two. Just do Tuesday, Thursday, and then have Saturday for your uh, your prep. Now, the less days you do it a week, the more you want to practice, right? So you wouldn't want to practice for if, it, if, you know, if you have a test coming up in March and you want to gain, let's say, 100 points, uh, 100 point gain in each section, and you want to do that from you know in like three months, probably want to be practicing for a little longer than 15 minutes a day. Realistically, probably between an hour and two hours. Um, and when it says that, it's like it doesn't actually take that long. It takes however long you want it to take. There's only a timed mini section. All the other sections are not timed. You can take as long as you want on them or as little as you want on them. Take them seriously, but if you get really, really stuck, um, it's not going to be helpful to just, you know, bash your brain in trying to figure out the problem, okay? Uh, so Tuesday, Thursday, that's a pretty good one. Uh, Monday, Wednesday works as well if you want to do a two-day two schedule. Uh, Monday, Thursday just two days. I wouldn't recommend doing one day a week. I think that's just too little. I would probably do no less than two days a week. All right. So whatever you decide, you need to decide what minimum two days. I probably wouldn't do every day, like all seven days, just because, you know, I, I think it's wise to have a day of rest. Uh, but then you just hit create and there you go. It creates it for you. And look, milestones. Yay. And that is it for this video. Again, I hope this is helpful and I'll be making more videos like this in a series I'm kind of starting a new series while I'm still ending another series, but hey, it is what it is. So check it out and let me know what you think. I'll see you in another video real soon.